So we're going to take the derivative of h of x, which is 3 to the x times square root of x cubed times ln of x plus tangent of x. So we've got an exponential function. We've got a product rule here in the middle, and we've got a trig function here. And before you take the derivative, I would recommend rewriting this as a power function. So x cubed, square root of x cubed can be rewritten as x to the 3 halves times ln of x. None of the other ones really need to be rewritten. Now we can do our h prime of x. An exponential rule, exponential functions always have themselves in the derivative. If the base is something then other than e, then you've got to multiply by the natural log of the base. Don't need a chain rule here because the exponent was just x. Minus, and what I'm going to do is use parentheses because this negative has to distribute to the whole product rule. So I'm going to leave x to the 3 halves alone times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x, plus, now I'm going to leave ln of x alone times the derivative of x to the 3 halves, which is 3 halves x to the 1 half. Again, now I close the parentheses because see that negative, I would lose I would have the wrong sign here if I did not have the parentheses. Plus the derivative of tangent of x, which is secant squared x. Or, if you wanted to, for this one you could do 1 over cosine squared x. Both are correct. Uh, I just like secant squared x, because that's what I'm used to. This is fine for a final answer, but if you wanted to rewrite it, you might do 3 to the x times ln of 3 minus... Now here, we can take an x away from here, so that would give us x to the 1 half. So this would be square root of x. Distributing that negative, I'll have 3 halves square root of x ln of x. Plus, again, I like using secant squared x, but 1 over cosine squared x would be fine. And there's our derivative.